And let me ask you this. Do you think Jimmy is roaming around the White House tonight trying to find a meatloaf to warm himself up on? Oh, I don't think the Carters eat meatloaf. Who the hell are they? They're only from Georgia. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. I am so sick of Washington and all its wigs and all the politicians down there and them congressmen. Oh, the congressmen. I bet you won't find none of them congressmen turning down their electric blankets tonight. Because if they did, the secretaries would get up and go home. Oh, oh, yes, the Democrats is doing the whole thing. The Democrats. And you put them in there. Yeah, 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 that's the face you had on you when you come back from the polls. Well, the Democrats' way of running this country is to go tell us all how we ought to make sacrifices. God, they're great on that stuff. But they're all going to have us over the hill to the poorhouse. We ain't going to be able to drive over there because we ain't got no gas. We're going to have to walk it. <laughs> the Reader's Digest says walking is very good for you. Oh, wait, that's lovely. The Reader's Digest could always put a little joy into poverty. You're missing my whole point, Edith. My whole point is this whole thing with the energy and everything. This is all a conspiracy. Don't you know that? It's a conspiracy there. Listen, for years, all our lives, they've been telling us to go out and buy stuff to use energy and all, all electrical stuff. You got electric toasters, electric ovens, electric stoves, electric stereos, electric TVs, electric razors, electric hair blowers, electric knives, electric every damn thing. Not to mention the cars. And now, after all the big corporations there making the billions and billions of dollars worth of profits, signals, bam, that changed. And after telling us for years that we can't go without this junk, now they tell us that we gotta live without it. The country is going straight into the dumper. 